Hi Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your weekly reading here in a moment. Just a couple things before we start. Uh, everything you need to know is in the description box. Details regarding personal readings. Also details how to win a free personal reading. Actually, I will be on... Uh, posting winners uh, in the next couple days okay so get your uh, entries in soon so with that Aquarius let's get started we're gonna uh, see what the energy is here for you uh, in the weeklies I do break it down money career and then love if you like this uh, style of reading with specific dates please let me know by uh, giving me a thumbs up a like uh, and a comment. I do appreciate your feedback and I do appreciate you Aquarius. So with that beautiful Aquarius, let's see what the energy is here for you. Okay. Okay. We got the two of Michael here and it says it will be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem, finding a compromise here. Okay. So this could be you maybe having to make some sort of difficult decision. I also see this energy, right? Cause we got two horses, uh, you know, coming head to head here okay this could be a stalemate too between you and someone um, in regards to communication i feel that energy or you know maybe there's someone you're bumping heads with okay but it does feel like there's some sort of difficult situation right now that you may be having to make okay so let's uh pull the energy let's see what the energy is here for you aquarius now in uh, i got the deck upside down with this um these energy cards i will look at i will use these cards for both money and career and in love okay so it will be for both energies here please share with aquarius what they need to know please share with aquarius what they need to know get one more all right let's cut the deck okay beautiful energy here you got woman holding a coin it's number 42 which is six these may numbers may be important to you or you may see uh, these signs and synchronicities uh, during the week okay we got number two we got envy here And we also have here action okay number 17 uh, which is eight okay interesting and then we also have here door to spirit number 32 which is five okay i feel like spirits trying to lead you in making some sort of decision like i said there could be somebody right this mv card um, it's also a number two, which can talk about decisions. There could be somebody here that um, I feel, like I said, you could be bumping heads with. And I feel with this envy card, this could be someone that maybe um, does not have your best interests at heart. Um, but it also can be just kind of um, maybe a negative energy around you, okay? Or maybe somebody who is not... Um, you know positive okay we got women holding a coin and we have action here and door to spirit i feel like spirit's trying to lead you in some sort of change in your life i feel like i'm going to clarify that card later uh see what it is but we have the world card here as well there's some sort of big powerful change i feel that's about to happen in your life here okay woman holding a coin this could talk about your stability your security moving forward towards your dreams and goal with this action card it's success ahead and with the world card here this is your energy too, aquarius it's aquarius taurus scorpio and leo there's some sort of powerful change here that is about to happen in your life but i feel like it may be a difficult decision for you okay but spirit's trying to lead the way this mb card can also be um about uh i feel here too you could be um maybe not seeing um you know the positive the positive in the change here this can also be about you you know maybe you are doubting um making this decision 
Okay, so that can be your own energy as well. Not really, you know, I don't necessarily pick up, you know, an envy, but it can be someone around you, right, that doesn't have the best intentions. So let's see what money and career uh, has to say. I've got another card stuck in here. I will um, clarify some of these energies as well. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. Please share with Aquarius what they need to know in money uh, and career. And then we'll do love after this. Okay. Yeah, look at this. You got the sovereign energy. This is about being in control. This is governing your own life. You are in charge. And you have the freedom and the willpower, right, to move forward. Okay. Oh, it's for your own stability and security here. You have patience. This talks about your work being rewarded. Okay, so this can be a consistent energy, okay, um, it's a steady going energy, it's uh, planting your feet. I almost feel with planting your feet, it could be an energy where, um, you know, you're in control and you are a very grounded during this time. It can also be a passionate energy. Let's see what you got here. You got committed. Okay, so committed, creating from the heart. This is an all-in determined energy. It's also, you know, um, this could talk about a long-term career. Some of you could be, you know, money and career with this Envy card. You could be in a work environment where, you know, maybe there's just people around you. Maybe they're, they're not supportive. Maybe they don't have the best intentions. Okay, so that can be that energy as well. And that may be, some of you may be deciding to move on from, you know, the workplace here. Okay, so it could be you deciding to take another offer. So if you are applying for new positions, new jobs, I feel like um, there could be a more lucrative offer uh, in your future. Okay, if you are applying for jobs, that's telling me there's a lucrative option. So it could be you moving on from a situation, that, you know, a work environment. Some of you could be in a toxic work environment here. Okay, and it's about you taking the control and moving forward. Interesting, you have divine couple here. Prosper with your partner. So this could be an energy where, um, you know, some of you could be in a relationship. This also could be um, having to do with some sort of family business or an energy of moving forward, doing something that you love, you know, loving your work, um, sharing, you know, your skills, your work with others and uh, working together. There may be somebody who helps you, okay, that you collaborate with. I, I feel I'm going to put that there because I feel like that's important. And then you also have your answers. It says keys to the king, uh, kingdom. So it's telling you, I feel like if you're wanting, this really feels like a job change. If you're wanting to make a job change or you have been applying, it's telling you here, you're going to get the calls. You're going to get the uh, interviews. It's saying that there's some sort of new work. Um, it could be a change in technology, and uh, also this could be the answer to money salute, you know, to your money. Okay, so if some of you aren't feeling you're getting paid your worth, right? They're telling you ha you have the power to move on. Okay, it's going to take your patience, right? It's going to take, um, you know, it could take time, and it could take uh, time for things to start feeling like they're moving in a consistent way. But I feel like they're telling you, follow your heart on this one. Follow your heart because I feel spirit is leading you to a better path. And some of you could even be right starting a business, okay, a family business, or doing something with a partner, someone that you care about. But let's uh, let's get into the love energy here now for you. So if you're wanting to make some sort of change in your career, Aquarius, and you know that could be the difficult decision here. I feel like spirit's trying to lead you, and I feel like there's something very um, you're going to get the support and the calls and all of that that you need. So. Let's see what your love energy shows here for you, Aquarius. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. What else can you share with Aquarius? Please share with Aquarius what they need to know. Okay, you got the Three of Wands, the Hangman. I'll just pull your cards first, and then we'll go through them. Okay. Well, there's a romantic opportunity here. 
uh, Aquarius, I have to say. We're going to clarify too. But you got the Three of Wands and you got the Hangman, okay? This is your ships coming in and the Hangman. Maybe you felt some delays in love, but it's changing here. Something's being released. Remember I said there's big changes here, okay? New chapters in your life. And I feel like Aquarius... Some of you, I feel like there could also be a love situation that maybe you're making a decision or you're having a hard time making a decision about moving forward from. But I see here with the three of wands, okay, there's a change seeing things from a different perspective. It can also be a release of karma. Some of you could have been in a karmic situation and now um, opportunities are coming towards you if you're looking for them, okay? This is someone who is looking into the future. They're thinking about the future. They're thinking about their intentions. They're thinking about their opportunities and, you know, what they want for their love life, right? The next step is the four of wands, right? How you envision, uh, you know, what your intention is when it comes to love. And the magician is also, also about intention, making things happen in your life. You have the sovereign energy here. This is about your free will and you uh, taking charge of your own life. So if you are finding yourself in a situation where it's just kept you in limbo here with the hangman, I feel like, you know, this is about your stability and your security and you making things happen in your life here with the magician. Okay, so setting your intention and then look what happens. Here comes the Knight of Cups. So I feel there's a romantic opportunity coming in for you, Aquarius. I feel like there, some of you could be making the decision to release something here that has been keeping you in limbo. We do have, uh, look at this, the Four of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Here's the decision here. This is about making plans. Some of you may be holding on to some a connection that you have with someone, and it may be hard for you to make that change, right? To go down a new path is what I see here. King of Wands here, you know, could be a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. But I feel like it's what Spirit's trying to show you, Aquarius, if you can make that decision. There's a new love opportunity coming your way. So let's clarify uh, these energies, and we're going to see who this is, this Knight of Cups energy. You, you know, three of wands here, you could have more than one option, okay, or, or a choice in love, I should say. So I want to go up to this Envy card and see what this is about, okay? Thank you, Spirit and Angels. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Aquarius, here it goes. Okay. We have the chariot and the world. Look at that. I think we saw the chariot energy. This is like the chariot energy, this action energy. Repeating energies, confirmation, Aquarius. The chariot, and we also have here... Uh, the world card. This is talking about moving forward. This is talking about your willpower to um, make change in your life. New chapters, new beginnings. Okay, and nine of wands. This is about not giving up. So there may be some challenges in your life and in work and career here, right? And with this envy energy, you know, it could be someone that you're dealing with that it's just been very challenging, feeling like you're not getting anywhere. And I feel like this is talking about you making the decision here to move forward, to create change in your life is what that is showing here. Both of these cards, the world card and the chariot, is telling you that there is success ahead. Because there's something I feel that has been burdening you here with the Ten of Wands. It's a heavy energy. Maybe you've been carrying um, a heavy workload. Uh, you know, or maybe you're carrying, um, you know, you're thinking a lot about the situation and, and it's very burdensome. Some of you could be the weight of a relationship. You also have the hangman, okay? Again, you know, in this card it says rewarded sacrifice. And, you know, as I said, it could be an energy where you're releasing a karmic situation and now you're starting to see things from a different perspective. That's looking ahead here with this three of wands. And look at that. Four of wands here, okay? Things coming together. Uh, this is grateful togetherness. Okay, so I feel like whether this is a money and career, they're telling you things are going to come together, but the energy is showing here, right, not to give up and to keep moving forward and look, the Knight of Wands, and this is fearless action. So I feel like this is more about you 
taking action here and you know leaving those fears behind okay so let's uh clarify let's clarify this love energy here tell me more about the three of wands tell me more about the three of wands okay we have justice and we have the queen of cups okay so like i said this is about you thinking about the future looking ahead this um i'm going to say the justice here um and the queen of cups so the queen of cups is about your intuition here okay so you may receive psychic insights at this time the justice here is about you doing what's right and fair for you and again look at this high priestess energy Okay, so again about your intuition. What is your intuition telling you? This envy card can also be about you not listening to your intuition, right? Letting fear um, of change or something new happening in your life, uh, you know, causing some sort of in internal struggle. But here's the strength card. And the strength card is telling you, and I'm going to say you have the eight of swords here. They're telling you not to doubt this change. Okay, they're telling you to go ahead. This is, I think it says here, yeah, unquestioned, unquestioned confidence here with the strength card. This is about you moving forward. Don't question it. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. Because a lot of times, you know, um, we try to talk ourselves out of things and not listen to our intuition. Tell me more about this hangman. Tell me more about this hangman. Six of Cups cherished memories some of you may be looking back at the past okay and that could be what's um keeping you stuck all right so whatever your situation is in love there may be somebody here that you just keep thinking about you miss, maybe miss this person maybe feeling like you know this can be an energy here of, of feeling lost in the past you got the Hierophant and the Ace of Cups, okay? So I feel like there could be somebody here that you saw yourself in a relationship with. Um, but I'm also going to say here, too, you got the Page of Coins. I feel like there's a new person coming in your life here with the Ace of Cups and the Hierophant. This is somebody who could be emotionally ready here for a relationship. Could be a Taurus, um, a Capricorn, or a Virgo, okay? Let's go to the Knight of Cups. Because there is a romantic opportunity here. And what's interesting, I read the cards, you know, together. Got Divine Couple right above this uh, Knight of Cups. It's there for a reason. So there's a romantic opportunity coming your way, I feel, Aquarius. A Divine Partner here. So tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Okay, so we got the Nine of Swords. We have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, again, um, this is releasing. Um, this could be about releasing past trauma, past burdens, right? Worried about the past here. But I feel like there's a new opportunity coming in for you here, Ten of Cups energy, okay? I feel like what Spirit is saying here, the only person that is holding you back in love is you okay because they're telling you oh my gosh look at that ten of coin and the ten of cups here i feel like they're telling you aquarius that the only person that could be holding you back you know whether you're thinking about somebody from the past or whether you know you're just reliving a situation of the past that caused you a lot of pain maybe it felt like you know you didn't deserve it it wasn't fair to you and maybe you have some fears about you know exploring new love and that may be the difficult decision you have to make but what spirit is showing you here with the ten of coin and the ten of cups if you can make that decision to move forward there is definitely a loving complete relationship i feel that's coming in for you and somebody who is emotionally ready and it could be um, you know, we, we have a, a earth energy. We also have here water energy and um, is what I've been seeing here so far. Okay, so let's pull some um, higher, self, uh, higher self oracles. I feel like your world is about to change, Aquarius, but I feel like there's an important decision that you're going to have to make. And it's, you know, about finding a compromise 
right? Um, aligning your head and your heart because I feel like you may be thinking a lot about this, but you're you're um, in making the decision. You're being guided to say, um, you know, find that balance between your head and your heart, and that's the that's what's going to give you the decision you need to make. So it says here, storms may bring passion, but not peace, okay? So this could be a situation that really has been an up and down emotional for you. Um, and I'm going to say in love, maybe there is somebody that, you know, there's a lot of passion, but there's also a lot of up and down energy. Some of you could even be dealing with somebody who's moody, um, but you have sometimes the best things are created from chaos, okay? So this could be a situation. Maybe you're learning from this situation. Maybe you went through something chaotic in your life and it doesn't have to just be about love. Uh, but sometimes, you know, it brings a blessing. So this says, when you bond with someone in spirit, you both become a greater force for good. Some of you could, um, I, this is my twin flame card. I feel like some of you, maybe you went through, uh, and even a karmic energy here too, because actually I feel like more karmic. You could have gone through something karmic here, but it was for you to become your better self. It says, everyone you meet is another part of you that wants to be loved. Beautiful. I feel like this is spiritual growth for you, uh, Aquarius, is what I see. And the final message I'm going to pull, it says, look for the signs that will guide you to, the, to destiny you have known all along. All right. So there's something I feel moving forward here that is destined for you. And that is what spirit is trying to lead you to. Spirit's trying to lead you to that power, that, you know, that powerful change that I talked about. So Aquarius, um, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.